If you are looking for some fun things to do in Norfolk, then no worries today. I got you covered. We are going to take a look at the top 10 things to do in Norfolk, Virginia. Let's go. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Taylor Hudgens. I'm your real estate agent helping you make Hampton Roads your home. And of course, Emma is gonna also help <laughs> when she can. And I think Jake is camped out on the couch somewhere taking a nap through all of this. But <laughs> today I've got you covered. We're gonna cover the top 10 things to do in Norfolk. So of course, as usual, I'm going to try to pack as much information as I can into these little 10 minute YouTube videos. But for some more free resources on Norfolk and the Hampton Roads area, feel free to head over to realestatetay.com slash Norfolk. And then you can select through the different cities that you wanna take a look at. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right on in. So spot number one on the list of things to do in Norfolk is the Chrysler Museum of Art. So the Chrysler Museum of Art is actually really cool. I'm not really much of an art person. I'll go ahead and throw that out there. But the first time I went to the Chrysler Museum of Art, I honestly expected maybe a few paintings on the walls to check out and peace out after that. But this place is massive and they have so much. They have everything from sculptures to paintings to murals to modern art to classic art. They even have a glass blowing studio where you can actually watch other people make glass art. You can actually take workshops there. It's honestly one of the coolest places in Norfolk and it's all free. Uh, side note. You also can use it as a wedding venue. So if there are any people out there that are looking for some wedding venues in Hampton Roads, Chrysler Museum of Art is probably one of the most beautiful in downtown Norfolk. Spot number two on top 10 things to do in Norfolk is the Waterside District. So the Waterside District is really cool. They have tons of restaurants here. And of course, it's right by the water. What a surprise, right? <laughs> so it's really awesome spot if you're just looking for a place to go grab some brunch or lunch or dinner. But it's really also a great party spot. So if you guys are looking for somewhere fun to go spend your New Year's or July 4th, this is the place to go. They usually have tons of events and festivals going on. I know right now I'm kind of filming post COVID. So a lot of their festivals have slowed down since then, but they will probably start to ramp back up in the next few months to the next year. So make sure to always keep an eye out on Waterside and all the different events that they have coming up. Spot number three on the top 10 things to do in Norfolk, Virginia is Battleship, Wisconsin and Nauticus. So Battleship Wisconsin is actually a battleship that was once used in warfare that has been retired out. So you can actually go onto the battleship, tour, take a look at everything, and you can actually go down into the battleship to see where the soldiers hung out, where they ate, cafeteria, where they slept. It's all very cool, so if you have any historical buffs in your family, definitely take them there. It's also a really good spot to take your kids because they have the Battleship Wisconsin, but you also have different parts of the museum to tour as well. And they're really great about having interactive activities. So if you have little ones that need some entertainment, also a great spot to take them to. Spot number four is of course the Virginia Zoo, which is in Norfolk, Virginia. It is awesome. Well, of course it's a great zoo, but outside of all the standard zoo things, <laughs> they also host really great events at the Norfolk Zoo. So always make sure to constantly check out their website just to see what they've got going on. I know me and a few friends went over to the zoo for adults night one time and it was really cool. So what they did, was they just kept the zoo open later than normal, like after 6 p.m. And they provided beer and wine, nothing crazy like straight liquor or anything like that, but beer and wine for you to walk around and enjoy the scenery with your drinks. And it was actually really cool. And who can say that getting tipsy near the giraffes isn't one of the coolest things ever. So make sure to check that out. They also have lots of other activities. And of course they have lots of kids oriented activities where they have different workshops for them throughout the days. And of course it's more popular on the weekends, but also still great to check out. So make sure to always take a look at their website to see what they've got going on so that you can make sure to take a look at that throughout the day. 
Spot number five on the list is the Botanical Gardens. And my gosh, it is amazingly beautiful there. I actually went during the holiday time where they had the holiday lights up. They technically call it the Million Bulb Walk and it is beautiful. So there is a trail there that is completely paid. So if you need stroller access or wheelchair access, you're totally fine. But it's over a mile long loop that has tons of lights up and it it's just extravagant. I don't know how else to describe it. Some of the years they do it where you can actually drive through with your vehicles, but last year they actually did it as a walking tour. So it's one of their biggest events throughout the year, but of course it's extremely beautiful in the spring and summertime too when everything is in full bloom. It's amazing. You just, just one of those places that you have to see. So they also offer, of course, lots of events throughout the year. So on Sundays when it's warmer out, they have Sunday dog days where you can bring the pups. So Jake and Emma will probably be going here soon. <laughs> and they also have gardening classes and guided tours. So if you want somewhere to just go relax for a while, enjoy the weather, definitely make sure to go to the Botanical Gardens. Spot number six on the list is an Admirals hockey game. So of course it's ice hockey and they are only playing during the winter time, but they are super fun. And Norfolk is the only city in Hampton Roads that I am aware of that has sports teams. So they also have a baseball team, but we'll get to that in a sec. But the Admirals hockey game, of course, takes over during the winter time. So it's great for a date night. They have food, they have alcohol. If you wanna go have a little bit of loose adult time. They also have different areas in the arena that you can rent out. So if you want to take a big group or you have a social outing that you need to find a venue for, this might actually work really well for you. Um, of course, you can bring the kids, but also just know, I didn't know this because I'm not much of a hockey person, but still a good time. They do fight quite a bit. So if you want to bring the kids, by all means, there are lots of kids that come to these things, but just a side note so that way you know to be prepared for that. Um, as the hockey game goes on. Spot number seven is the Ocean View Fishing Pier. So Ocean View is the beachy part of Norfolk and the Fishing Pier has been there for a few decades. <laughs> it's really great, it's a really awesome spot. It's actually a pretty huge fishing pier that has a restaurant and bar right in the middle of it on top of the water. It's really nice on you know good weather nights. They are closed during the winter time, but you actually can go onto the roof of the restaurant and bar area and hang out, have a nice happy hour. They host lots of great festivals, not festivals, but events there like karaoke nights and one dollar draft beer night so it's definitely a good time if you're looking for a place to get rowdy on the cheap um, but it's a really great place to hang out and also just watch the sunset speaking of drinking in Norfolk spot number eight is to go to a happy hour at the grain so the grain is a phenomenal restaurant in downtown Norfolk and they have great food, so also good to go in the daytime, but it's a great bar slash lounge in the evening. So if you're just looking for a place to relax, go have a drink with a friend, the grain is great because it's actually like one of the top levels of a hotel in downtown Norfolk. So the views are beautiful. They actually have these huge garage doors that they open up when the weather is nice and these huge balconies that have tons of dining space and lounge space. So they even have a fire pit on one side, I believe, but it's beautiful. Just to forewarn you, it does get packed at night. So just know that if you go there pretty late, like around midnight, if you're bar hopping, just know that it might be kind of tough to find a spot to sit, but also part of the atmosphere and part of the experience at the Green. So make sure to check that out if you're looking to go find some good drinks to have on a Friday night. Spot number nine on the list is to head on over to a Norfolk Tides baseball game. So the Norfolk Tides are the local minor league baseball team here in Hampton Roads and it is such a good time. Of course they have food and drinks, all the classics of any baseball place, but they do have uh, fireworks at the end of every single home game. So make sure to go worth it at least just for the fireworks. But I'm filming this in early 2022 and I know they were currently, or they were at least working on putting up a outdoor pool slash lounge slash outdoor bar area. So whenever that comes around, just know that everyone will probably be headed to the baseball games. 
and I'll see you there. <laughs> Spot number 10 on the list is the Norfolk Scope Arena. So it's just a large venue in downtown Norfolk, but they have events almost every single weekend throughout the year. Of course, they are hosting the Norfolk Admirals hockey games when they're playing throughout the winter time, but they also have like big concerts. So if you're in a country, I know they have John Party coming this year. Kevin Hart is also scheduled to come in August this year of 2022. So make sure to always keep an eye on what they've got. They actually are also part of the seven venues that are locally around Hampton Roads. So if you're open to traveling to Hampton or Virginia Beach, you'll also be connected into those when you check out their website. So that way you'll get a full list of all of the big events going on in Hampton roads. Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. If you are thinking about moving to Norfolk or anywhere in Hampton Roads, I would be honored to be your agent to help you find a home here in the area. If you do have questions, I'll leave my contact info below. But if you have any questions in particular about this video or Hampton Roads in general, feel free to leave those questions in the comments below. I make sure to answer those all personally. But again, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video.